Dear colleagues and friends, extreme heat, floods, droughts, wildfires and hurricanes, the climate crisis is upon us, powered by our addiction to fossil fuels. And the climate crisis is a health crisis. A warming planet means more extreme and more deadly weather events more outbreaks of infectious diseases and more threats to our air, water and sources of food. Climate change impacts health in all countries, but it hits people in low and middle income countries the hardest. We need to put health and social justice at the heart of the climate talks and actions. It's time to confront the inequalities that lie at the root of this and so many other global health challenges. Evidence shows that the changes we need to make to our energy, transport and food systems to meet the Paris climate goals would bring massive health gains. The WHO Manifesto for a Healthy Recovery provides six policy prescriptions and more than 80 concrete actions for building back cleaner and greener from the pandemic. Advanced economies in particular have a once-in-a-generation opportunity to demonstrate global solidarity by making health central to their climate commitments. The health arguments for rapid climate action have never been clearer. Let's get to work. I thank you.